Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to do some more oracles. If you want to know what oracles I'm reading this from, it is called OurBlackGirls.com, okay? So this is about Kenesha, K-E-N-I-S-H-A, this son. Opened her front door and was murdered in 2000, okay? This is what she looked like. I will be putting her picture in the description. Okay, let's read it. Also, I'm looking... If the codes to break, okay, I'll let y'all know if I see any codes to break. Um, see where she is, see if she alive or deceased. She is saying, okay, I'm waiting. The person responsible for the death of Kanisha Dixon had gone unknown by authorities for over two decades. But her loved ones are determined to see justice in this case. I stumbled upon Kanisha's story after falling down a rabbit hole that landed me on the code cases page of the Houston Police Department's website. There had not been much shared about the investigation into this cold case, but the scene of Kanisha's mother suggested, murder suggested that she may have lived in fear. According, I mean, firecracker. According to reports on May the 9th, 2000, someone knocked on Kanisha's door at 11.10 a.m., then upon seconds of opening the door to her residence at 100031 43 163, the person on the other side of the threshold shot and killed her. Okay, this is a this is a somebody throwing shots at her family, okay? Because the handgun was found near her body. It is believed that Kanisha answered the knock while holding the firearm. Okay, this is why they left the handgun down there to say a oh, reason why we kill your daughter or your niece because y'all killed somebody in our family type of shit is what they saying leaving authorities to believe that she may have been fearing for her safety she may have even known the person who took her life but that is speculated it is unclear who called she's saying duct okay so she is deceased it is unclear who called the authorities or if someone else were present at the home she's saying no when the incident occurred. But I mean, they have been watching her, though. They was watching her in her house, invisible, though. But it has been reported that she was pronounced dead at the scene. Um, I'm seeing um, they grab, they dragging her body out of the apartment. Like, they, they captured her, basically. Kanisha was living with a roommate at the time of her death, a man who was questioned by police. She's saying he is involved. He told them that he was the owner of the gun found by her body, but why Kanisha may have had it when she was slain remains a mystery. She's saying because he did it. The Houston Police Department shared on his website that investigators were able to assign a certain viable information while conducting a canvas, interviewing residents of the apartment complex and others. I'm hearing trafficking. Yet yeah, no persons of interest or suspects have been named, at least not publicly. And he had been in aggregating search trying to find news reports about Kanisha Dixon or updates regarding the decades old investigation. I can only locate one photo and I'm still searching for an outlet to reveal her age. Oh yeah, somebody has her body suit on right now. That's probably why I really can't get no information out of her. Okay. Her personal life, and, I'm hearing her mouth, her tongue, okay? Her personal life and relationships have not been shared, and finding information about her on social media has been a fruitless effort since it happened in 2000. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Houston Police Department Code Case Squad at 713-308-3618 or Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. The agency case number is HPD incident number 0590986-00. Please share this story by Kanisha Dixon to help reunite the investigations into her case. She's saying she was young. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? So if y'all want to help, just contact the numbers below. Um, I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. And I want to set their souls and spirits free, okay? I'm out. Peace.